Hey guys, it's Heather. I'm here with a sewing vlog today. So I received three orders and they are multi-piece orders. And then I also cut some things for my own tester patterns. Because I just brought some new Rainbow High patterns and a BTS pattern and I want to test it out. So currently I have Kook chilling in the basket in his little GQ outfit. And I have a bunch of things in here. I have an outfit for Namju with a pleather vest, a hoodie. Underneath this personal stuff, I have Jimin's Boy With Love outfit, Taze, leopard print outfit, a bunch of pants. Sorry, I accidentally clicked the stop. So, as I was saying, I have a Hobie jumpsuit in there. It's somewhere. It's probably on the bottom, out right there. And a smiley face Hobie shirt and a black hoodie. A bunch of things in here I'm going to sew. So, I'll take some footage as I'm sewing. I'm going to start with Namjoon's red outfit is from the 2014 Mamas where he was wearing a red button down, some black pants, and a pleather vest, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do the shirt first. First things first, I need to iron my cotton fabric flat and crisp. So there are some kinks in it from the way it was folded up. It's always going to happen. So I just use my mini iron on a medium, my Cricut ironing mat. And then I sit here and either watch TV shows or YouTube toy videos or DIYs or I also found Ted Ed to be quite fun. It's really a lot of fun animations with a bunch of educational concepts. Something to listen to or I'll just put on music. It depends what I'm doing too. Like after I iron this I'm going to zigzag all the edges to secure them from fraying and that gets quite loud so I'm better off just playing a song because I can make that loud enough to hear over the zigzagging versus playing this video at a hundred I may not even hear the person talking and if you want to know whose video this is this is mini toy adventures welcome to my toy and doll room tour and I really just love his aesthetic of the room how organized it is I should step up my game <laughs> all right my iron's ready so I'm going to iron him also quite hot. See it in a few. Okay, so I finished Namjoon's red outfit. No, it's on JK. I didn't bring Namjoon down yet to take photos, but it's a button-down shirt with a pleathered vest. There's snaps under those buttons. Some fitted pants. And like I said before, it was from the 2014 Mama, so that's what he looked like. I think it came out pretty great! Here, let's do a little side-by-side. -side. I mean, it's pretty good. Namjoon's shirt is like this really fine polka dot print. But I thought this red cotton works well. Sorry. It keeps going in and out of focus. Then I finished Jimin's Boy With Love outfit. It's just sitting in here. It's this little shirt. It's from the music video one of the outfits he wears. And then it has some skinny jeans that have a rip at the knee. And I finished the little beret for Tay's airport fashion Ooh. and I'll go sew another one probably sew the rest of the airport fashion that's what I mean white shirt, black pants, the leopard print um, jacket and I also did something that was not order related I tested out this new pattern I purchased for Rainbow High this dress I think is really cute I like that it's not completely form fitted so it works good for cottons and I can sew it in a little more if I want to use it for a knit. So I did cut out a knit. Poppy looks so adorable. Alright, I'm going to go do some more sewing. Actually, first I'm going to put this beret on the doll so that you can see what it looks like. Oh yeah. So good. I love it. I'm really proud of this pattern because I made it up completely. I did not have a previous beret pattern. What I had was a bucket hat pattern and I just use one less piece than I do a bucket hat. So I use the round part, the sorry, uh, wall part, I guess. I just don't use the brim for that pattern. This looks so good and it's just a little pom-pom. I have my Christmas items on top. Looks great. Okay, now I'm gonna go sew the rest of Tay's outfit. Tay's outfit is complete from hat to 
to animal print coat, to shirt and pants. Ah, oh, it's so cute. I'm going to dress Kook here in Jimin's outfit just so you can see what it looks like. Here's Jimin's boy with love outfit. There it is. The ribbon always gets a little wonky after it's been pulled. I don't really know how you fix that. But I like the little rip in the knee. It's very fun. They look very cute. This collar is a little big, but so is the sweater. It's kind of hard to do collars on shirts like this, because if you don't pull it a right amount, it won't get all snug against his neck. If you do pull it, you could pull it too tight, and it's like really choking him. If you don't, it could end up being like an off-the-shoulder kind of thing. Weird. All right. Not sure what I'm going to sew next, but you'll see soon. Look, the pile is diminishing. Yay! I made Hobie's smiley face shirt from one of the Weavers magazines and a simple black hoodie that was also in this order. And then I want to show you something else I made that was personal. I brought this new overall pattern and I had to edit it a little bit because it was made to be really baggy and fit a variety of dolls. But look how cute. It even has like a similar fit to the overalls they were wearing in the Ikea run episode, which I have on my research powerpoint sorry i was watching relic hunter look at how baggy it is and then look at my oh that's some dark lighting but look at that i say that's pretty good all i need is a long sleeve white shirt make a denim hat and a white hat and i have a little look look at that it's gonna be great okay next one i'm gonna sew is the purple hoodie really love this fabric it doesn't fray it's really nice to sew except it does curl a lot on itself but once you lay it flat on like some interfacing it's really good so i'm gonna make that now one purple hoodie all finished and this one i even put a pocket i put a pocket on this material because it doesn't leave a wavering hem when i stretch it on the against the grain so if you look at it, the lines are going sideways. Well, here the lines are going vertical, horizontal, vertical. It's just my hack for sewing. If I were to do that on this black knit, it would stretch out and get like this wavy appearance, the pocket, and it wouldn't look good. So I don't do it on this knit. Just this kind of knit. I have no idea what it's called. I found this knit on AliExpress. It comes in a small amount, but it's great for making these little hoodies. Next thing I'm going to do is Hobie's jumpsuit. It's a dynamite jumpsuit from one of the performances at the end of the year. I forget if it's the Mamas or the MMAs. But he looks fire in it, so I'm going to go make that. See ya! I'm back, and I did Hobie's purple jumpsuit. Look how nice. Ooh, I gotta pull the leg down. So it looks a little uneven. There we go. He even has a little working button right here. Beautiful. And I rolled up the sleeves. I sewed them in so they'll stay around the same height. They do move up and down. So you just gotta fiddle with them. Then I sewed down the collars and the lapels. How cute is that? It's great. I love this fabric. It has a four-way stretch. I got it from Girl Charlie online. It's a beautiful plum color. Hobie's actual suit is more of a purple purple. But this one works great. Okay, next I'm going to do all these pants that were part of an order. And then I'm thinking I might go and sew up these Rainbow High Boy pajamas. So keep me going, because if I don't, I'll get overwhelmed by the amount of things I haven't sewn out of my personal task list. And after that, I'll do Jimin's filter suit. So, let's go sew up these pants. I finished the orders. Yippee! I sent out the one that just had Hobie smiley face shirt in the pants. And now here is Jimin's filter suit. All four pieces. Here, let me put them down on my ironing board. See, there's a little button here. I put a snap underneath. He has a waist piece. It's pleated. I'm really proud of it. Those pleatings. Ever since I got this quilting iron, 
pleating is so much easier than doing it even with the mini iron just because of how small that tip is. My velcro is in the back, same with the pants, and then the sleeveless shirt underneath, which I know Jimin doesn't wear sleeves, a sleeveless shirt, but it fits better with this jacket pattern because otherwise it's really hard to go and get long sleeves and pull them down to fabric that doesn't stretch and it's like how far my finger goes. Unless you have hemostats, but not a lot of customers will have their own hemostats. Tweezers, maybe. And the buttons are functional. Oh, sorry. It's kind of had like a mini yawn there. The buttons are functional on this shirt, which is super fun. I'm going to package this up, get it ready for shipping. But first, I'm going to take pictures of Nam June inside of that red outfit from the Mamas. Here's my Nam June. And I was wondering if it would look good inside these rainbow high background inserts maybe not the beach one I was thinking maybe the stage light one i have oh i saved them i just opened the rockstar doll the one with braids and comes with drums and i saved these because i thought it would be co cool backgrounds for a few photos that is it for this sewing vlog so thanks so much for tuning in watching looking at what i make if you're interested at all in buying these things you have to go check out my etsy i'll put the link right on the screen now woohoo and I'll put it in the description. And if you don't see them listed, you just have to message me. I have to make sure if I still have the fabric. If I don't, well, I guess it's gone. I, yeah, I may be able to reorder the fabric. I may not. But you can always work on other things. I do take lots of custom requests. And it's very fun to sew for these dolls. Because they have so many outfits. I mean, everyone loves grubby junk food. That was a fun seller. Alright, so this is the end of my video. Thanks for watching.